Welcome to Newsday Tuesday. Yeah, so it's Halloween. That's so okay. Look. She's very festive. I'm very I festive. I didn't get the memo. So. You didn't get the I don't have any Halloween. She stuff. has reddish hair. Yeah. I have, I have orange. Orange hair. No. It's not orange. You're funny. Reddish. Reddish hair. Yeah. So and yeah, how funny, right? Look, it has stars. I it couldn't resist it. I was very excited. So I'm happy to share that with you. And happy Halloween on this kind of here in Millsboro rainy day, which is kind of a bummer for the kids. But um it's still Halloween and that has always been one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. I love to decorate. Do you decorate your house a lot? Um not a lot. Not a lot. Not no. like some of these people you're like, no. <laughs> it's like Christmas. No, I'm not I have that. Christmas stuff. I do have a lot of Christmas, but not a lot. Of, because Christmas you can have out longer, I think. You can have out longer. It's true. But I think somebody blend Halloween to Christmas now. I remember when you're, you know how you have the, the people have the candles in the windows? Like yeah. with the, at Christmas time, I put orange bulbs. Oh, um, right. Yeah. <laughs> it was really yeah. cool. It looked like my house is on fire. Oh, jeez. Because <laughs> it was like kind of foggy. It was very cool. So anyhow, I've done that for a long time. But... Anyhow, so here we are. We're in Millsboro. Real estate is still what we're really here to talk about. So yeah. let's talk about real estate. Yeah. So things are definitely slowing down. It's that time of year, but that's okay. Um, this is a good time to start kind of getting things done, like your checklist that you need to do if you're getting want to sell your house or you're thinking about buying. So you want to start looking at maybe finding a mortgage wrap or start just kind of checking out the areas you want to go or if you want to sell Start doing some of the fix-ups that you need to do to get ready. But you definitely should talk to an agent. Call us, please. We'll help you. Because some people do too much. Yes. And you don't need to. We don't want uh -uh. you to spend more money than you have to if it's not something you really need to do. And we're very happy to help. So, yeah, give us a call. But kind of this week, um, just to kind of sh show you how it has slowed down. So, um, what are our stats right now? So, we have um, one that's coming soon. Okay. Um, 25 active. That's good. Um, eight active under contract, 10 pending, and then 17 closed. Okay, so 17 closed. Congratulations. So you can see the numbers one coming soon. That's yeah. So this is a time, but don't let it stop you from listing if that's what you need to do. I mean, we're brilliant at getting the word out that you're listing your house and getting to clients to come buy the house. So things are still selling. Um, interest rates are still on the higher end. So we're I think, um, are they meeting today? I think they're meeting today or tomorrow again to discuss rates. So it is what it is. Again, buy the house, rent the rate. So, you know, and honestly, um, I was listening to some people and what they were saying, some um, very smart people like myself and you, <laughs> is that like the stock market, when is the best time to buy stocks? When they're kind of down, right? When the market is down. Mm -hmm. So I think it kind of goes with real estate too. Well, this is a good time to buy because the prices are going to be a little bit lower and people are more negotiate, no negotiable because of what's happening in the market. So when the rates start to come down, the market may become flooded with houses. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that many, but it will become more flooded and there won't be um, a, such a great deals out there. So anyhow. And everybody's going to be going at the same time. Yeah, everybody's going to be going at the same time. So right now, it's a good time to buy. I hope I made that made sense. All of a sudden, it didn't make sense to me. <laughs> it makes sense. It does. Okay. It does. It does. I mean, you just have to look at it in you know in that way. It's in, your. It's an investment. It's an investment. Right. It's your home, but it's also an investment. So, yes. anyhow, let's move past that stuff because I'm going to talk about fun stuff. So we have um, our star of the week is who da -da -da -da. Eva Rosa. Eva Rosa. She is her birthday is on Sunday. And she's going to be. Um, she's not officially old yet, but she's older. <laughs> A year older. A year older. I know. <laughs> Specifically. So happy birthday, yeah, Eva. Happy birthday. Um, we're thinking of you. Um, I hope you do something fun for your birthday. Um, hopefully, it has something to do with um, margaritas. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm sure it will. It will, yes. She's, she's, yeah. Um, okay, so what else? We have, um, oh my gosh, Sunday. Sunday's a big one. She loves Sunday. She gets an extra hour of sleep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know. Fall back, so daylight savings. Daylight savings. Make Sunday. sure you set your clocks back. Yes, yeah, so you get an extra hour Especially of sleep. Especially those of you with kids. Yes. <laughs> because you'll be getting up, getting them off to the bus, and the bus won't show up. Yeah, that's I've learned that the hard way. You've learned that the hard way. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Not gonna lie. I, I think we all have. Yeah, I hate to even say it was two years in a row. But the thing you're most regretful is that you missed that extra hour of sleep. I Not know. that they're not there. You're like, oh my god, I 
Well, you, yeah, you could have slept. Yeah, could have slept, you could slept another slept hour. In, so it's right. Just, so that's kind of the bummer of it all. So, mm -hmm. um, all right, let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, we're gonna. Um, so, I need to do a shout out to Kim for our local business that we're gonna try and highlight a little bit more of Millsboro and the businesses here and uh, Beauty Unleashed. She has made me so beautiful. I love her. Um, Beauty Unleashed is a little local salon here, and it's wonderful, and we love them, and they're very talented, very, very talented. Um, I highly, highly recommend them. Uh, I'm hard to deal with because I don't have great hair, unlike this beautiful hair here. So, yeah, <laughs> when somebody I can feel comfortable with who does my hair, I'm very happy, and Kim is great, and I know the other ones in there are awesome, too, because I've actually I've gone to them several times, too. And then they moved. That was the craziest thing. They were all working in one place, and then they were gone, and I didn't know where they went. And I found them. <laughs> they opened up their own shop, and they're all together. So it's good. Beauty Unleashed. It's on Long Neck Road. Um, you'll put something in the... Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll put it up so you, if you want to call in, get them, um, give them a try. But I highly recommend them. Okay. 100%. 100%. Where else can we say? Um, well, it's Halloween, so... <laughs> It's trick or treating night. Hopefully, the rain lets up. Um, that would be a huge bummer. I know. Um, but where do they? Where are they trick or treating? Um, so Millsboro, um, like downtown Millsboro, does some trick or treating around like the houses and stuff like that. Are they that. doing houses or are they doing the? They like do Main Street. I know that there's some of the houses that participate on Main Street and then down a couple of the side. Are rows. they doing a trunk or treat though at the police department tonight? Isn't that what? It I'm pretty sure there's yes. trick or treat. Yes, tonight is the trick or treat at the police department. Yes, right, because I know everybody was donating candy and stuff for that, and I'm mm -hmm. sure there's people in the neighborhood you can go around too. But um, trick or treat today, six that's to the, eight. Six to eight. Okay, that's the time for trick or treating. I think that's yeah, so funny how. Yeah, when I grew up, that was never. We went. We went. We got home from school, and we stayed out until we couldn't stay out any longer because yeah. we were tired. <laughs> It was a long time. I remember we get back at a 10 or something. Oh, I was hardcore. I didn't stop. I had, we just kept going and going. And I lived in a neighborhood where the houses were really far apart. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just, time. it's, I love it, but it's also very exhausting though. I think with little, little ones, it's just more yeah. exhausting. You got to put them in a stroller. Yeah. Or, and they don't want to or be... split up. Take the little ones home and take the bigger ones right. you know, out. So, right. yeah, that's you. Yeah. And uh, you can take the little ones. Brian can, her husband can take the older ones. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, I'd rather take the old You'd rather take the old one? No, because then I don't have to run and, and you know, grab little children. That sounded bad. <laughs> grab my little children. <laughs> she does not grab little children. I, I want to put that out. Children. She's good. So. My, my youngest tries to make a run for it any opportunity he gets. He does. We went over to um, Hudson Fields this past weekend to their trunk or treat. Oh, yeah, um, that's fun. Which was fun, yeah. And then my friend went along and... I warned her. I said, "Look, Benny. He likes he likes to run. So if you're volunteering to hang out with him, well, this is what you're gonna expect." So <laughs> sure enough, every time I turn away, there's Benny, Benny. and there's Katie. <laughs> you know, running right after him. So I'm like, "Yeah, well, you get your cardio, you girl. That's right. You got it. Ugh, I need some little <laughs> kids because I need some cardio." <laughs> Can no, you, you can borrow that. I, I knew you were going to say that. I was waiting. I didn't forget it. I'm good. <laughs> no, I, will. I could borrow them, but you have to be with me. That doesn't count, then. <sighs> it doesn't count. I don't know about all of this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to rest. Well. <laughs> so on that note, on that note. Um, happy Halloween. And this was a little crazy. Not, um, thank you. Oh, I do. I do want to know one more thing, though. Mm -hmm. I think we talked about this before. We're going to go again. What is your favorite candy for Halloween? Ooh, nerves. Nerves. I love Isn't that random? Yeah. I don't know the why. The boxes and you shake them. In the yeah, the shake. whole thing. Oh, my gosh, I love them. Mine's Reese's. Reese's. Everybody yeah, Reese's. I love the Reese's. Yeah, I love the Reese's. I can't help it. So my kids never got a Reese's ever in their Because <laughs> they all end up. You know, I will say, nerd. I feel well, like you have to have a favorite of each, though. Like, you have, like, the fruity one. And right. The chocolate. Twix. Twix is, is my your favorite. favorite. Yeah. Chocolate. Yeah. That I like nerds, really too. So, but no, it was funny with the Reese's because they would get them and I would take them out real fast. Right, so, so they, they never, know. they never got the Reese's. <laughs> then they complain all their friends. There's nobody in my house. They want to get Reese's. Oh my gosh, no, I'm really not kidding. But I did steal some. Yeah. But anyhow, um, happy Halloween, and we hope to see you next Newsday Tuesday. We're gonna sign off, I guess. We're gonna sign off. Signing off. Bye. Bye.